Welcome to your mind. I'm Elena Mozara. Today I want to talk to you about the empowering strategies for dealing with difficult individuals in your life, particularly those who exhibit narcissistic, psychopathic, or even sociopathic tendencies, the bully types, the draining, dismissive, self-oriented personalities that leave you questioning your own sanity, often caught in unnecessary drama. I also would like to point out that, to some extent, we all exhibit narcissistic traits during our early development. At its core, narcissism involves an excessive self-focus that can manifest it as insecurity or an inflated sense of self-importance. But it is crucial that we evolve beyond this toddler-like stage of development. Healthy psychological growth leads from self-centeredness to embracing interconnectedness and empathy, a multi-perspective view on life. An empathetic, caring, kind person is often a multi-perspective person. That's a different kind of intelligence, one that narcissistic bully types do not get. So as we deal with those types of individuals on our journey, be they friends, colleagues, family members, or even partners, what do we do? In this episode, I introduce you to three impactful ways of dealing with challenging individuals. Gray rocking, emotional Aikido, and strategic communication. In just about five minutes, I'll guide you into a receptive state of mind where you can absorb and integrate these tools, applying them effectively when confronted with difficult personalities. So let's talk about these three tools briefly. So the first one is gray rocking. It's a technique which I learned about from a CNN article. It entails responding to a narcissistic interactions with neutral and emotional replies until they lose interest. Dr. Keith Campbell, a psychology professor at the University of Georgia, likens this approach to detaching from their need for attention. And why do they need attention? Well, it's because it's often about them and they want to pull you into the drama so you expand your energy. This technique has not been extensively researched, but there's plenty anecdotal evidence that supports its efficacy. A number of women were interviewed and agreed on the principles of this approach. By minimizing emotional engagement, you sidestep a difficult person's desire for validation and drama. Remember, no matter how much you disagree with what they are saying, do not get pulled in. Ignoring them is also an act of disagreement with their views and values. Now, the second tool is called Emotional Aikido. I learned about this tool a few years ago from a book called Transurfing Reality by Vadim Zeland. It involves redirecting energy. Imagine applying this principle of martial arts just as practitioners use their opponent's energy to their advantage. You can redirect the energy of a potentially emotional abusive encounter. What you will do is you'll change your position. As soon as the encounter happens, you know it takes place. You can feel it in your body. You're going to step into a completely new position. It's a different state of mind. And you will mentally shift the energy that is coming from an emotional abusive person into an empty space next to you, effectively neutralizing the negativity. This keeps your emotional distance intact while deterring their attempts at either manipulation, offense, or any need to drag you into an unnecessary argument, feeding them with your energy. You are not going to do that. You'll be amazed. The sense of relief you will feel when you practice this tool. Now, the third strategy is also important. I call it strategic communication. It is a way to engage with bullies and narcissists when absolutely necessary. And sometimes you'll, you'll be compelled to respond to crossed boundaries, in which case you will opt for strategic communication, but not during the heated moments or any drama evoked by a difficult person. This is important to remember. When that encounter happens and you feel 
mildly triggered. There may be the need to respond. You know that sometimes it's a waste of energy because they're pulling you into the drama. Utilize gray rocking and emotional Aikido and step away. Then, as you still have the need to respond, craft a calm message outlining your stance and limits. Deliver this message when the narcissistic individual is in a neutral state. Just as you wouldn't reason with an upset toddler, approaching them when they are more receptive fosters more constructive communication. When you speak, be brief, concise. Give them a few good points just like you would to a toddler. Simple and concise, confident and direct. Narcissistic stage of development is akin to a toddler stage of emotional development. Let's remember that. Now let's integrate this knowledge into your unconscious mind so you can use these tools effectively when dealing with difficult toddler type adult individuals. If you're driving, please stop your car or get back to this portion of the audio at a later time. Close your eyes and settle into a comfortable position. Inhale deeply. Feel the air fill up your lungs. As you exhale, release any tension or worries. Breathe in once more, deeply relaxing all throughout. As you exhale, let go of any lingering distractions, empty mind. With each breath, you descend further into relaxation and your mind becoming an open canvas ready to absorb and embrace a positive change. Imagine yourself in a place of profound tranquility, a sanctuary where you feel completely at peace. It might be a serene beach, a tranquil forest, or a peaceful meadow. It's your choice. Take your time. Envision what you'd like. This is your inner retreat. Feel the gentle warmth of the sun on your skin. Or the soothing caress of a cool breeze. Allow your senses to fully immerse you in this tranquil space now. Relaxed now as I count from one upwards. Imagine yourself gently ascending, lifting up, floating upwards into the boundless expanse of space, feeling weightless as if each number lifts you higher and higher, one drifting upward, two rising higher, feeling a sense of lightness all throughout, three, all thoughts fading into the distance. Four, you are open to suggestions now on five, soaring even higher, embraced by the comfort of your own relaxation. Six, your mind is receptive, barriers dissolve, trusting this experience. Seven, floating effortlessly all throughout, becoming one with everything, secure and open to a positive change, hypnotized. Eight, a serene journey, gently gliding, deeper relaxed now. Nine, landing on a cloud-like bed, soft, inviting, secure, and warm. Ten, deeper and deeper into relaxation, Stay right there. Nine. Deeper relaxed. Eight. Seven. Six. A state of profound tranquility. Five. Relaxed all throughout. Four. Three. Two. Your mind opens. One. 
you are in a deep state of hypnosis. As you rest here in this tranquil state, your mind is primed to absorb positive suggestions. Now in this state of profound relaxation and receptivity, we will explore and absorb powerful ways of dealing with challenging personalities in your life. As we delve into these techniques, you'll realize from deep within you are empowered and capable of handling any encounters with strength and grace. You will use these techniques as they deem appropriate to any given situation. Gray rocking. Imagine encountering a person who triggers discomfort or drama. It can be someone you know or knew a long time ago or an imaginary person. Picture yourself responding to their attempts to provoke you with neutral and unemotional responses. You are able to just ignore and not get involved, as if bored, disinterested, not your circus, not your drama, gently exiting the interaction. Visualize how your detachment causes their interest to wane. As you practice gray rocking, you maintain your emotional equilibrium, preventing their need for attention or drama. You choose to exit as you become less and less involved and non-reactive. You are empowered now. You can also try emotional Aikido, another wonderful tool. You can use it most especially when you are already triggered mildly by a difficult person. So envision an encounter with an individual whose negative energy threatens or overwhelms you. Just as in martial arts, imagine yourself deftly redirecting their energy. Imagine changing your position. No matter how affected you feel by their energy or comment or anything they do, you step away from your space and then mentally guide their energy into an empty space, allowing it to dissipate harmlessly somewhere next to you. You're just watching no longer at you, but into an empty space. You watch it, just like the river that passes by you, into an empty space, and you feel empowered, at ease and calm. You can even affirm that to yourself, I am now safe and unaffected, as you watch the energy pass by you. I am safe and unaffected. What a great feeling. Things subside. The other person leaves space or diminishes their act and changes behavior. You are safe and empowered. And now the third one. Strategic communication. A way to respond to a bully-like narcissistic personality. Imagine facing a situation where boundaries are crossed again. Visualize yourself walking away again. Allowing the emotions to settle. Whether it's gray rocking or emotional Aikido, you stepped away in a calm and collected state. Envision yourself crafting a concise message outlining your perspective and limits. Brief, short, direct, no emotion. At any other time, you can choose to deliver this message only when the other person is calm and receptive and open, just like you would speak to a toddler. Concise, direct, empowered, confident, simple. You respect your boundaries and you speak up. That feels good. Congratulations. You have now learned through powerful techniques to deal with difficult individuals, gray rocking, emotional Aikido, and strategic communication. Each of these tools will empower you to respond with strength, grace, self-assuredness, as you encounter challenging situations in the future, remember the lessons you have absorbed today. Now silently affirm to yourself, I am safe, secure, and confident when I relate to difficult people. Once again, I am safe, secure, and confident when I relate to difficult people. I am able to manage and redirect energy in a difficult communication. Say it three times. 
I am able to manage and redirect energy in a difficult communication. Let it all sink in deeper and deeper. Now bring your attention back into your body. Visualize energy entering your body through your feet. Flowing upwards like a gentle waterfall. In your own mind, you may be back in your natural place of tranquility. Let that energy flow upwards like a gentle waterfall cascading from the top of your head. That's right and then gracefully flowing back down. Back down, back into your feet, through your whole body like a gentle waterfall moving up, up, cascading from the top of your head and flowing all throughout and around. Feeling safe, empowered, confident and clear. Feel its soothing touch as it nurtures and heals, infusing you with an abundance of positivity. And now at your own pace, let's begin to come back into being fully awake, slowly and gently coming back. One, two, feeling good. Three, four, refreshed. Five, welcome back.